Hello and welcome to some more Tesla news. Exciting stuff about Model 3. It's actually coming off the line. The first production one's the end of this week. Tons of other stuff. It's great. <laughs> So Tesla sending out updates like crazy. They got their, they finally got the silky smooth and then they've got the kernel update. So now it's autopilot's a little bit, a little bit smoother. It's, I don't know if it's perfect. Well, it's far from perfect, but it is a little bit better. <laughs> they also got a per perpendicular parking on the hardware 2.0 autopilot, as well as the kernel has been updated in the background. So this is, this has been a huge jump. It's been using this old, like five-year-old kernel in the Tesla's and now it's got the newer one, which is gonna allow them to do a lot of the things they need to do. Open source navigation platforms for uh, Mapbox and Valhalla. It's something that like Pinterest, Uber, a lot of other programs are using for their, for their mapping. It might be a little bit better than just relying solely on like Google Maps and TomTom Tom or Garmin. They were, they were using Garmin, now they're using TomTom Tom and, and Google Maps, and now they're gonna use OpenBox. They're trying out all kinds of uh, mapping software. It's going to be interesting to see how they kind of settle this all out and how it's going to work with the high precision mapping that they're doing with the autopilot hardware. On July 1st, they changed the configuration for when you order a new Tesla. And now the single motor Teslas are almost as fast as the dual motor Teslas. So like, for example, the Model S 75, it used to be 5.5 seconds zero to 60 now it's down to 4.3 that's over a second faster on the dual motor 75d it went from 5.2 down to 4.2 and on the model s 100d a very minute change from 4.2 to 4.1 the model x's didn't have as nearly uh, as big of a difference the 100d is going from 4.8 to 4.7 it's, it's a welcome change. They say though, it's not just a software update, it's a software and hardware change. So it's only in the new cars going forward. So that's good if you're ordering a new car. <laughs> They're trying to make it more appealing if you wanna go ahead and not wait on that Model 3, because the Model 3 zero to 60 is gonna be under six seconds on the base. So whatever the upgraded Model 3 is, you know they don't want it competing as much with the, the Model S's and X's because they're they got to be faster than the more expensive cars. <laughs> so Elon finally announced his announcement of the announcement of the Model 3 and he said that the Model 3 passed all regulatory requirements for production 2 weeks ahead of schedule and that they were expecting the serial number 1 of the Model 3 to come off the production line this Friday and the handover party for the first 30 customers are going to get their Model 3s on the 28th of this month, July. And the production is going to grow exponentially. So in August, there should be about 100 cars delivered. And in September, it should be over 1,500 cars. And by the time it gets to December, they're, they're going to reach over 20,000 cars. So we're looking, you know, somewhere between like 40 and 50,000 cars being made this year of the Model 3. And if you think about it, <laughs> a year, a little over a year ago, when they announced it and started letting you do reservations on the Model 3, before you could even see the car, they were at, I think, about 120,000 pre-orders. <laughs> so that means if you did not pre-order the car before you saw the car, you're not gonna get the car this year. And if, I, I'd go so far as to say, if you don't already own a Tesla, you're probably not gonna get a Model 3 either, because the priority is gonna be Tesla employees, and, and, and SpaceX and, well, Solar City, and then Tesla owners, and it's gonna go from California out because they wanna keep them close to the factory first for the first ones that go out the door. So, yeah, I'm probably not gonna get one this year. <laughs> I live in Wyoming, but I am a Tesla owner, two-time Tesla owner, uh, and I did reserve it uh, in the morning who knows? It'll, it'll be interesting to see how this all works out. Um, I know a lot of people have converted their orders to test uh, to new Teslas. Uh, you know, they went, ended up getting a either new or used Model S or X instead of waiting for the three. Last they were saying, it was still probably uh, over 400,000 people waiting on this Model 3. And it's going to be a while. And they're saying mid-2018, if you pre-order now before you get a Model 3. Also, the first one's off the line are gonna be very simple configurations. You'll be able to pick the color and the tires, and that's about it. <laughs> They're all gonna be rear, rear wheel drive. And he said dual motors are next year, is what Elon was saying. 
All right. So let me know what you think about the Model 3. Are you guys excited? Are you going to wait it out for a Model 3? Or are you going to uh, go ahead and get a used Model S? Because they're really good deals right now. They've got a new used program with high mile Model S's and, well, and eventually X's that have warranties on them. Um, they have new warranties on them that kind of make it worth getting. And they're popping up for under $40,000 right now. So you can get one of those without autopilot which I would do over something like a Chevy Bolt, which isn't a bad car. I got a test drive one, but it doesn't have autopilot and it, it doesn't have as much room and it's just not as nice of a car as a pre-autopilot Model S. Or, you know, maybe the new Leaf. Um, I guess you could, if you could get that instead of a Model 3. They're going to come out in a few months. It's, it's, it's an interesting time finally having options <laughs> if you want a, you know, a long range electric vehicle. Uh, Model X news, they finally got folding seats. Uh, so if you order a Model X July 1st and forward, you can now get the seven seat configuration that folds flat, like the five seat. I actually have a five seat right now as a loner, and it's, it's not bad. Um, it's weird though, I think my six seater actually feels a lot more roomy, which is weird, just because that middle row, middle seat is missing. The whole thing just seems way more open, even when the, the back seat, you know, the back seats are folded or up. It's very, very strange. But yeah, so if you want to get the seven seat configuration, it's actually cheaper now than the six seat configuration. And you can fold all the seats and you can lay them all flat. It's a welcome change. A lot of people thought it was pretty silly that an SUV couldn't fold all the seats flat. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Thank you for joining um, on this holiday week and We'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe or you can email, email me on pox at twosmartguys.com. My Wild West EV company, we're going to have like a grand opening on during Drive Electric Week in early September. And hopefully I'll, I'll have a, a lot of chargers throughout Wyoming by then. We've got two up and working now and we've got about another four in the works. So anyways, thank you. See you next time. Bye.